Philip is. I think they wanted to kind of try and buy as much time as possible. But we are live and getting it going here. Mason Manville in the blue singlet, U.S. Army W cap. Uh, so we already saw a couple W cap guys, Nafizov and Tuma. Kamal Bay in the red singlet with black trim. And he, he loves that super duck, man. He does, and he's got to be careful with it. Um, you know, a lot of the Europeans kind of just keep their elbows and don't mind catching a super duck in the face. You know, so he's got to kind of be careful with it when he takes that stuff overseas. But And Manville here trying to do, you know, really the uh, Kamal Bay is, is a Ferrari, right? He's a Porsche. He wants to go 180 miles an hour, as you see right there, driving through that high dive. Now, Kamal's not so much one for ground parterre. He wants to do exactly what he's doing oh here, my. get you up off the ground. That is horsepower. That is serious horsepower. Anyone that doesn't believe that that takes a tremendous amount of strength and athletic ability, you are kidding yourselves. So Manville trying to dig forward a little bit here. And that's another thing you said about, uh, you know, Euros not being as susceptible to super ducks, but look at the defense there from Bay. Mm. Manville keeps him off balance, though. Trying to go righty gut. Nice elbow pick, but he's going to go through on it. And I don't believe. Oh, he definitely got two more. But what I'm saying is I'm not sure if uh, Bay kind of got hurt there. On the takedown. Yes, because he was off balance for a yeah. good five seconds. Sunkiss Kid's coming over to take a look at him. So while we wait, and, and again, hopefully, you know, Bay is healthy, we uh, we don't really want to see a World Team Trials match end in, end in an injury. We'd like no. Manville and Bay to settle this on the mat. Um, real quick, I wanted to go over Manville's road to the finals. So 9-0 over Corey Fitzgerald uh, in round one. Fitzgerald, uh, an NMU guy, so um, not really a lot of expectations on him. Uh, Manville, 5-2 over Jesse Porter. Now, Porter is the one that I expected to see here in these finals, uh, especially with Andy Besick not competing. Porter met, met Bay in the finals of the uh, Senior Nationals in, in Vegas in December and the Schultz in, in February. Um, Little adjustments these kids are making. Yeah. And you can tell their growth, man. Jesse Porter is an absolute stud. But I'm telling you right now, look, this, these kids are, they're getting better. They're getting better at Greco, more specifically. And that's interesting to watch. It, for the first time that I can remember, in a, it, it, you know, we have guys that are fully committed at a young, young age to Greco. Now, two junior eligible athletes in the finals. Yeah. Though. Oh. Definitely. And we're getting another takedown for Manville. Now, I'm not trying to make any excuses for Bay. We did just see him get shaken up. For um, sure. I, I don't know if he was nursing any injuries before the match or uh, if this is something that happened during. But right Manville. now, Manville is in complete control of this match. Surprised he didn't try and go on that gut. Even if you just squeeze him a little bit, just to make sure he knows you're still there. <laughs> it helps. We were talking with one of the officials the other day as uh, someone went airborne in front of us. Uh, we are talking to one of the officials the other day about the, the Masters division and, and how guys didn't want to wrestle anymore after uh, getting cut in. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it happens at the uh, at the senior level too. Every sometimes. level, every level. Guts are a real, real thing. And Bay's pace has significantly slowed down here. Manville can take his time here and kind of pick his spots. He's got two takedowns already. Referee is saying bring that head up. Down to the last 20 here of this first period. And what I would like to see if I were Manville's coach is exactly what I was just about to say, a little bit more forward motion from him. Uh, you know, little baby steps to keep Bay off balance because Bay is already such a, a tremendous athlete that when you allow him to stay sure. on balance. Yeah, you want to get one of his feet heavier than the other. That's for sure. And you can tell he's been at the OTC now for over 18 months, I believe. Maybe even coming up on two years. Mason? No. Uh, oh, come on, yes. Kamal. I mean, Manville also at the OTC currently. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Bay was there after his junior year of high school. And you can tell that 
they knew they had a thoroughbred, and they have fine-tuned that yeah. technique and fine-tuned that technique. Um, and he still has a long way to go, right? I mean, for sure. he's got he's got a tremendous amount of talent. He obviously loves to scrap, which is, you know, that's a big part of it, too. Um, but now all of a sudden. As these two continue to uh, get after it here, Bay with the high dive temp. I think he, uh, I think that 30 second break help, helped him out a little bit. We saw the high dive attempt. But Manville continuing to control that lock here in an arm spin attempt. Uh -oh. And Bay's down on the ground here. This reverse lift. He is real good at it. Holy cow. And, you're going and to another two. two. So Bay's taking the lead here. Yeah. His parterre game is off the charts. Whether it be his reverse lift, his straight lift, his side lift. Long story short, he likes to lift. And we were just talking about his technique, but at some point with that, that is, uh, that's desire, right? Say, I'm sorry, say that again? That's desire, right? Absolutely. I want to get you off the ground. Right. And but it takes a tremendous amount of commitment, right? Right, because it's not, if you know, it's not easy to obviously lift someone off the ground. You know, take into account the fact that they're moving, and the weight becomes unstable. And I'm wondering um, if take into account that they're not real happy with you. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of, and then you, if you don't expose, you burn a lot of energy. I'm wondering if Bay's going to get hit for passive here soon. Manville walking him around the zone. Tried that drag down. And especially with the ref saying head up, head up. Down to the last 90 seconds. So again, this match is going to finish off, or this series will finish off on mat one. And we will have a special presentation after this, but we've got... 89 seconds left of Greco scrapping here. And this is kind of where I imagine the entire USA coaching staff would like to see what their young stars are made of. Can Bay hold a lead, possibly injured, or will Manville be able to keep on the offensive? And, you know, if you're his coaches, you probably hopefully want to see him get a four here. Oh, you want to see for him sure. not he, just have the lead on criteria, but take yeah, it outright. I mean, we need... We need points on the board, and you're seeing the the young bucks in Greco putting up a lot of points. They're letting it fly. And Bay gonna give up a That's two two here. So nine eights up on the board. I don't believe that is correct. Can't give a takedown and a step out on the edge. Okay. But 9 8 staying up on like the board. It looks like it's sticking. So 41 seconds left. Kamal Bay has got to get busy. And this is reminiscent of his Schultz final against Porter, where he had about this much time left. He ended up going, uh, I believe, modified duck to an arm throw. But Manville keeping him in the zone here. And he almost stepped out there, doing some tightrope walking. Seventeen to go, and I'm gonna let these two finish it out for us. And I like the way that Manville steps to the side when Bay tries that throw by, walking into it now. Uh, it's a slip throw. With Either way, two seconds left. match is over. Match Mason is Manville. Over. I said, when the, I thought Andy Beast was done, I said, this is going to be Kamal's weight until he doesn't want it anymore. Mason Manville apparently did not get that memo. He did not. And uh, Halo's got the lead. So 1-0 lead for, for Mason Manville here in this best of three series. And uh, look, you know, I, I said it on Twitter today, I won 78 gold medals. If Mason Manville is the guy that is the best in the weight in this country for us 75 kilos, that's the guy we want going at the World Championships. Right. WCAP coaches feeling good right now about their prospects of a couple